Hi, I'm Margaret Zimmerman, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to cast a next gel. This lab has two different types of percentage of next gel solution. We have a 12% and a 10%. Which one you use will depend on what type of protein you're analyzing. The other two liquid solutions you'll use are 10% APS and TMIT. The first thing you'll add to your mix will be the next gel solution, followed by either the 10% or the TMIT. Never put these two in the same reaction until you're ready to actually cast a gel. Once these two are together, the gel will start to polymerize. Procedure recommends adding the 10% APS last, but whichever one you use can be your preference. Just make sure they're usually consistent, so make sure that you don't forget which one you're adding. According to the next gel protocol, which can be found on the handout for the company, it takes about 10 mils of next gel solution to 60 microliters of APS to 6 microliters of TMIN. Before we can add the stuff into the solution, we have to make our casting gel. We use a green clamp. We put the little sponges into the gel cast. We have two glass plates. Now there's two types. They're the ones with the ridges, and this is your back plate. Notice the up. The second type is a flat glass. This is your front plate. Put these two together and assemble it on the bench. Never assemble this in the sponge as you will create a wobble and your gel will most likely leak. Take the clamps and fasten them down. Now you can run your finger across the bottom to make sure that it's nice and smooth and you have a tight fit. Then for the gel, lift up the clamp and secure the gel to the cast. Once we have our gel set up, we're ready to make up our gel casting solution. I can grab either 10% or 12%. For this, I'll use a 10%. I'm going to add 10 mils. And if you overshoot it, you can just take a transfer pipette and take it out and throw it away. Now I can add my team in. Now team is quite uh, it's quite potent, so you can either choose to add the team in underneath the hood or at your bench, depending on your preference. Add the six microliters of teamin and throw away the tip. Next thing you do is add the 60 microliters of the APS. And put it into the solution. Throw away the tip, put the cap on the falcon tube, and mix it for a uniform solution. Once your solution ready, you can go ahead and cast your gel. Use a transfer pipette. Now you can put the transfer pipette up to the glass plate so the solution just runs between the two glass layers. Go to just slightly over the top. Need some more solution. And suck out any air bubbles that remain. Once all your air bubbles are done, you can go ahead and put the green comb in. And double check for any air bubbles that remain. If there's no air bubbles, 
You can go ahead and let your gel dry. It'll take about 45 minutes for the gel to fully polymerize. If you plan on using it right away, you can go ahead. But if you want to store it, just take a little Ziploc bag, put about one milliliter of running buffer in the solution, Ziploc seal it, and then put it in the fridge about when you're ready to use it. Thank you.